Hey, lolly. Yep, get your subs. Your prime subs out. Don't forget your prime sub. Tough choice. Doom Guard Warlock or the Dragon Whelp. Typically both quite successful. Let's go Dragon Whelpy. Try out the Dragon Whelp. See how he does. Mini Deathwing. Raw. The Dragon Whelp. He's going to battle it out in his 8 player hero PvE slash PvP survival. Uh good summons, but I did summon her last week and it didn't go too well for me. And the downside is the other spells kind of suck. Hmm. I wanted to kind of do like a full-on strength build. Honestly. And none of this kind of works. I could just take those two for now, or do a re-roll. Damn, I guess I re-roll. It's Command Aura, that's something. But the other ability sucks. So you could just take Purge, Hex maybe. Hex and Command Aura. I'll buy that for now. More gold is required. What else could we get from the shop? He was going to be like a slow attacker. Ooh, nice. I can get my money that way. I was going to say, because he won't get many clears if he's going to be a slow attacker. So, every fourth kill allows you to activate this trait and gain 200 gold and a 10% chance to get gold spawn, gold coins to spawn. So this item's really nice for later on. Although actually, that's for melee, so that wouldn't work. Try the cheese. Heck, I can even try that. In theory, you could do like a part caster, part tanky boy. Probably just take the... Uh, not really. Ugh, these spells, man. I'm not vibing with these spells at all that it keeps giving me. I'm not vibing at all with that. The cannibalize is like a heal over time, but you need a corpse for that, so I'd have to have an item that can spawn corpses just for that. And not get interrupted whilst I'm doing it. Totally possible. Chat is gonna have to remind me to use pillage. I mean, the Cannibalize one has the potential for like a slow kind of hit and run type build. But then again, you're not running when you're standing still. So it kind of doesn't work. Reroll. Uh, let's have a look at the items. See, that could be good if you wanted to have mana cast and things. Assuming I'm going to get a fair bit of mana or not. I can't afford that stuff right now, so we'll just buy the stackables and see where that goes for the moment. Until I decide to get rid of one of them. Oh, I'm struggling. Technically, I don't really need the gloves of haste, I don't think. Kind of. It goes against having, like, an attack every four seconds kind of item. That's the sort of thing Gladiator's Axe you're looking for. Oh, there's a portal level. That's insane. Don't mind if I do. Oh, shit. They're going to be so strong. How am I going to fight it first? Is that? <laughs> Go! <laughs> How the hell am I going to kill that? i got to get rid of the portal. This is ridiculous. Look at the mobs coming out. That's a bug, surely. 
How are you supposed to fight against this? Oh my god. Nah. So much greed. That's so strong. There's no way you're supposed to fight against that. I think that's just an RNG thing. Yeah, I knew they were going to be strong, but that was like... They are definitely not... Not for... Not, not for yet. Not for yet. Not for now. Not for nothing. Alright, reroll. Ooh, Windwalk. Yeah, Evasion. the shop. Got the pillage used. Kind of want to buy the... Oh, no, no. I don't need that anymore, actually. Pig! These are doing some damage. Hey, Grinchy. Hope you're doing well. Spirit pig. It's a shame, because if I could abuse that portal level, get some pillage, baby. Ooh. Oh. Promise. Ah, uh, I see. Is this that StarCraft 2 shenanigan thing? I'll have to take a look at that afterwards. What are you up to? What are you hiding? Thank you very much uh, for the request, though. I think he just requested that I have a good day. I think that's what it was. He was like, have a lovely day. Take care. All the best. Kisses. What the hell is a cooldown on this? Thirty seconds, pretty long. But getting a decent chunk of health from that already. I don't want to sit on uh, this for too long, so let's get rid of some of these stack balls. Probably won't need these. That's the one I'm interested in, because I can at least give armor. Uh, that's one. This one is kind of cool, but technically I don't think you could maybe use it. Oh, not really. We're not really auto-attacking. So I think we just let this continue. Oh, yeah. Let's go those two. I was going to get the panda one as well, the panda crit, even though it doesn't necessarily stack with evasion. I see... Gloves don't particularly need that. You could do the Cloak of Frost. That can sometimes work with this. Raw. You requested I take tomorrow off and greet the ice cream truck when your prop comes around. Is that really what you do? I very much doubt it. We need some um, life steel. Base damage. Base damage benefits the gladiator's axe. The mask of madness. So what would I buy? I'll buy the gloves for now, but that's just because... I don't think I want to use it for PvP. I love stacking up gloves, but that's not really what this build does. This one is good. I think it's a fairly short cooldown. Don't think we need that. If you buy... And then do like one attack and then back and forth. This will probably be better for like the first PvP fight. I'm not sure how the first PvP fight is going to go. Oh, the heal. You probably do the heal. You need mana for that. Uh, the true shot aura. I kind of should get that though. I kind of wanted to get the heal, though. It's a shame i got to choose. But logically... You should get those two. But I could do heals in between, sort of, like, moves. 
running away and stuff like that. It's Devo. He says GG. The scum build is kicking in. Big tax anyway. Huge attacks. Fifteen percent attack damage for each summon you control. Well, that's not going to happen. You could do the footman thing. Have like the seven footman. But then they can just kill them. So it's not. It's a bit much to sort of take your chances on. Kill and blow is the one that can give you a hundred damage, which is very good. Otherwise, if you got the two weapon ones, then you can stack off of that. But we'll have to do the um, the kill and blow. You might not like it, but I have to do it. Because I literally didn't have another choice. Otherwise, if you get the two weapon ones, that are the default ones, apparently they stack. If you just get them by themselves, they're not that great. But if you get uh, one after the other, then it's a bit better. Oops, I should be doing kill and blow here. At least I've got ways to get it. Like with the hex thing. That hex is lasting a lot longer than I thought it would do. Being a ranged character is going to make this easier as well. I got the benefit of that. Oof. You got the little ones there as well. He's not summoning any elementals. There you go. Got to get rid of those, really. got a stun on me, so I couldn't actually get the hit on the other guys. I think I'm... Got red anyway. So how we doing? 28 damage, so I got a quarter of the way there already. Ooh, okay, this one's really good for getting mana back. That's the other item. That's based on strength, so you want to get lots of strength otherwise. Yeah, we're not using spell damage. Don't know exactly how much pure strength I've got though, really, but... You have to deliberately not attack when you have this item, which is the tricky thing with it. Otherwise, you ignore that one and get this one where you can just do attacks in between. And then you don't have to worry about ignoring your attacks. So is that worth it? Cost you 28 AUD. What is 28 AUD to GBP though? Uh. 
I'm still trying to work out whether I want to get that item or not. Oh, he survived. Never mind. Ah, oh, what are we doing, chat? Give me a moment. We'll I'll wait until I get to the end of this. Promise this. This is already getting more complicated. I don't know whether to just sort of go with a character that can just attack. He doesn't really have any spells, so I guess we do play into the storm hammer. Screw it. But I don't know how I'm going to get pure strength other than just buying items that have strength. That item is going to be worth, I think. He's mostly defensive. He's got mostly defensive. Yeah, I think we'll just play the slow game. And then hope he finds what he needs. And continue. Because there's two ways I could take him. I could take him where he casts spells, but he doesn't actually have spells. And then in between those spells, he gets his mana back and he keeps that up whilst doing auto attacks. Or you just go with... Oh! Uh, I don't really have a life steal way, though. How much stronger is my character this time? I don't think we can do it. Okay, I'm going straight for the portal. There's no way. I'm not taking a chance. It's possible. He is strong, a lot stronger than he was the first time, but... It's hard to know. If I had the Mask of Death, I could probably be more confident. Also, these are doing some damage to me anyway. Sixty damage. Those don't stack, do they? Don't need anything that can change my stats. I ended up getting these items later on anyway. Imagine if those stacked. Kind of want to sell an item to find out if it does. I don't think we're going to be stacking shoes. I think it's Mask of Death or something instead. To be honest. This guy can summon units. So we want him alive. Looks like I only use one of them. Wait. I didn't use the other one on the separate. You gonna summon? I don't really want to kill him, but he doesn't summon unless I go and attack him again, I don't think. Must be higher, yeah, level six. Because they didn't stay in hex for long. 68 damage, so you're almost three quarters of the way there. There we go. So we, I don't think we stack these. You get that. That's fine for getting mana back. Probably not going to need mana back that much. I can just ignore, just keep level one on these two. Really shouldn't need mana, hopefully. 
in theory, I've kind of got the items I want. It's just ideally I find more of these as we go. Those are like the only stack of one I'm having. Otherwise you r remove... R <laughs> move that shimmer glaze and put on that. But, or you can take the enchanted shield, actually. That would be protection. Or the razor sword, which is five second cooldown, 250 healing. Yeah, that might be better, actually. And less annoying than having to stack up. This is a tough level to really get anything from for my stats. There's the damage ones. One of them slows down my movement speed though. I'm not sure if I really want that. I don't want to move slow. Okay. Okay, the game is now loading. Want that? Do I take that though? It's mostly melee chaps actually. This time around. So I don't think you need that. I guess those are the items then. It's kind of decided. Pretty good actually, you know, yeah. Movement speed and all that. I guess I just stack strength. And I haven't even taken my other thing yet. 50 damage or 100 damage but lower movement speed. I don't want to lower my movement speed. Oh, the decimate's probably worth, honestly. The stun. Because that gives me control. Lifesteal a little bit here, so I may as well just keep fighting for the moment. Oh, crap, we're doing well so far. Hey, oh, back to Walker. Thank you very much there. Great. Dragon is looking sassy. We're playing some balanced hero survival. And that's a PvE slash PvP map for eight players. Hero Arena, basically. You may have seen it before. And I'm playing as a dragon with lots of range damage that's going for strength. Trying to play into this storm hammer. I feel like the storm hammer is the clunkiest item because you actually absolutely have to not attack for four seconds if you want to make sure that's staying on the cooldown. Otherwise, you can keep attacking if you don't have that. It's by far the clunkiest. And at the moment, it's only two, 392 damage, which is less than the gladiator axe. <laughs> Krabby doesn't play it, so it's not really popular. <laughs> That's one way to put it, I suppose. Yeah, got to get Grubby to play Balanced Hero Survival. Get Overclocked to put Balanced Hero Survival on, um, what's it called? War Free Champions. The Berserker Spear is the item you're thinking of, Legolas. 
Oh, it's this guy. He's nasty. Oh, no, 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 no. No. That's stun, bruh. Oh, he's summoning the pool. Yeah. Um, hmm. Don't forget pillage. Yeah, I'm not sure how we did it. I, I could probably handle the portal because I've got like the razor sword and stuff like that now. So he's going to do me a favor with that portal. Because every four kills, we can get 200 gold. So, fever, last portal. I'm strong enough now that I can actually take this. Whereas when I got it before, I was nowhere near strong enough. I kind of want to hit Illidan, though, just to soften him up. But then again, I don't really need to kill him. It'd be nice if I did, but... If I hit him, he's going to stop doing the portal. Most likely. Any pillaging chat? Red yet. Oh, he's done another portal. There's no way. Do 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 Keep him coming, boys. Even if he's doing 10,000 damage, it's fine. Oh, no. No, this is not fair. You can't do this to me. I still got... I still got some juice in me. I still got some juice. Yes, basically. <sighs> How greedy is our dragon? How to greed your dragon? 80 damage. Uh, 5,800 gold. Don't really need any... At least it's, it's more simple now with the items. I'm done. We Just take evasion. We've got crit. Got reduced damage as well. There's no recipes in this one, no. Just kill these. There's no point. Actually, I suppose I still got to get the. Got to get the uh, finger magic. I'll come up with the name of it in a moment. Ah, oh, the backstab. That's the one. That's a really tanky sword, centaur. He's got mana shield as well, so it makes it hard to predict exactly how much damage I need. Unless I just get one hit. Oh, there's another bloody portal. Could you make it up? I don't think you could. Oh my god, he's got stun. That's not cool, bro. Not cool. Kill the stun boy. I want to get rid of these if I can. This is getting messy.
There's another big tanky centaur with a gigaton of health. Shit, I was so close. I suddenly took a bit more damage. I think it's the death coil that amplified the damage I wasn't expecting. Because I was basically just going to get the mask available in about two seconds time. And then suddenly I took a... I was, I was low, but I took an extra chunk of health that I wasn't expecting. It caught me off guard. Otherwise I could have stayed alive for a bit longer there, I think. So it's a bit of a shame. Stupid death coil. Undead imbalance. Cast a spell called your next attack. Yeah. We demand additional money. Get rid of these bad boys. Ninety-two damage. Yeah, it's close. Come on, you. Just gonna try to get it on these grunts. That will do. Stun, please. We're pretty big. How did the human player manage to sap all these arcane towers suddenly? Got the 100 damage at least now, so that's pretty darn nice. Whew. It feels weird not buying any strength items, but you don't. You don't have space. Don't have space. boy. This is still trying to catch up, this storm hammer. See, every time you attack, it resets the storm hammer, so it's clunky. I want to see if it resets it on one second. Not exactly. Two seconds? Yeah, it does. So you kind of have to be patient. Wait until it's gone underneath one second, and then I think it doesn't do it. It's only if it's got, like, just slightly over one second left. So if I attack now, it puts it back to four seconds. So maybe it actually didn't count, because I didn't hear, like, a noise for it. You might be able to see it better if you're watching... I'm not watching him, I'm watching like um, my pillage and my wind walk down here at the bottom right. Also, this guy can summon trees. Some more pillage for me. Let's 
his uh, hex causes him to cast more trees. Maybe if I cast that on him as well, he casts trees. Okay. Now they paused it, I can put the lights on. A bit dank. Does the damage aura actually work on the newly gained damage? Does the damage aura work on the newly gained damage? I have no idea. I know I don't know even the basics most of the time because it kind of depends on how Overclock's programmed at all. I just make Dragon smash. I'm the Dragon's wingman. I help him smash. It would only apply to a hero's uh, base damage and any additional damage gained from their main stat. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's just run over my head. I just assume that this stuff is good, yeah? Command aura, true shot aura. Uh, it stacks on the bonus, but the storm hammer is based on the base of the damage, I think. So, killing blows should have... I oh, know. Yeah, Stormhammer is actually strength. This one's on base or damage or something. Yeah, your base damage. So, buying strength tomes pushes that. Okay, thank you for the on pause. Thanks for popping in. There you go. He's Only two treants. Only two! How long am I going to keep this up just to get an extra couple of trees? <laughs> oh shit, he's pissed. You got any more treants for me, buddy? Can you summon some more treants? Thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! I should have kept attacking, but I was hoping that Decimate was going to come off cooldown so I could stun him, guaranteed. Oh, well. I took the chance. I hesitated. I either committed to attacking or I just tried to escape and get Decimate off and one of my other cooldowns, but... There it is. Big old strengthy boy. So you got one. You could put that up to three seconds if you wanted to, but that's just lumber and mana cost. We're keeping our costs nice and cheap. Need a round where there's like eight of these tanks. Feels really weird not attacking for like four, five seconds. Oh wow. I guess I might be able to pillage off of those. I assume I can. Thanks, dear. Oh, the greed never stops. Like the video, subscribe. Twitch.tv slash witty. YouTube.com slash witty warcraft. Where there's a will, there's a way. Life uh, finds a way. I work hard for the money. So hard for the money. 
Almost got 10,000 on the pillage. Ugh. Oh, shit. There it is. Whoa, broke the 10,000. Don't normally get to do that. Pretty nice. Do they have spells? Yeah, there's some spell casters. Some of them are just auto attackers. Rami's got feedback. Okay, so what have we got? Seven. Let's finish that off. Command Aura, Evasion, Trisha Aura, Hard Skin, Critical Strike. So I can put points into a Hex, but do I even want to? put some but that will do we'll go halfway rest into strength oh I was one point off of uh, one point off 200 strength there even though you got the plus 10 Well, I've got a much simpler character to play this time round. I just have to understand what the other characters do, though, because I haven't really had a chance to do that. That's the thing, you don't really get much of a chance to do that. Tyrell's going to be a fast attacker, probably. It's got Entangle. Backstab on me. Mm, he's a pretty good counter to me because he does backstab. Yeah, it looks like Tyrell counters me. Close. Look how close I got it. I don't think I could have really done much more there. Might have had a decimate there. That came up quicker. Did it not use it? I'm sure I already used it. I think it's a longer cooldown than that. Nasty! I'm surprised! My character's strong! And he got shut down like that. I have to still kind of get some distance. Because I'm trying to buy time for this and other things. So I basically went against my hard counter on the first run. That's a bit unfortunate. But... Someone else will probably counter Tyrell, so... It's just a matter of time to see if they kill Tyrell first. This map is still so rock, paper, scissors. I'm surprised I got it as close as that. I think I did really well. Because that was very hard counted. Might need to get a bit luckier with my crits. I don't think movement speed. I mean, I can't literally. I don't have an option for movement speed. I don't think I saw an aura for it. The items I got are really good. Mm. 
Dev, I might have disconnected. Sure. He's got an internal cooldown, Obsidian Ray. Pre could be a problem as well, super fast attacker. See, even if you had movement speed, he can slow you down with this Orb of Lightning if he gets a proc. I should probably not tell people what I'm going to do. <laughs> or at least st not stream this. So I don't quite get so hard countered sometimes. Pretty good. I haven't seen the spike shield in ages. Overclock bugged the damage already. Then. Am I not getting the full amount? Am I getting robbed? Thirteen gloves of haste. Must have been shopping hard for that. It's a lot of armor. Woodstone just taking the millions of hits. However, there is Berserker Spear as well on Rami, and he's getting to half health. So now he's going to attack with even more ferocity. Pretty cool build. Yeah, there's a lot of quick attackers in this one. So, not many casters. I think I'll be a bit better against a caster. We need to stop leaving, Mr. Stone. Just rage quit him. struggle against these quick attackers. Oh yeah, I struggle hugely against these quick attackers. I'm like so hard countered by this. <laughs> I'm so surprised, because this character felt so strong. And then he's just getting absolutely rinsed. It's really random. Like, it's so hard to tell what's strong in this game anymore. Feels like nothing makes sense. On paper, my dragon is, like, insane. Spiked armor would be better, yeah. But it won't help me once it's on cooldown. Yeah, I think Preet might be a stronger version of Tyrol. And you saw how close it was between me and Tyrol. And I, I had to work really hard for that. At the moment, pre is yeah. There's something a bit glitchy there. 
How'd you die so quick? I had to work so hard to just almost kill Tyrol. And I lasted quite a bit longer against Preet than Tyrol did there. He's getting the, the debuff every moment, every attack, and he's got like a million attacks. Wouldn't that affect Remy as well if he had the Obsidian Ring? I know the Obsidian Ring has that potential, but I can't remember what the internal cooldowns and stuff like are for it. He's pretending he can't move. He's going to gang you. Nice map. You're not Invo. Is he selected someone else? Yeah, you don't look very Invo to me. You just got entangled. Yes, I think that was your bath. I think he was selecting Preet and thought he was in invulnerable. Well, when I thought Tyrell was super strong, and then the other two characters can destroy Tyrell quite easily, I am absolutely doomed. I could tell. I could tell you was dumb, Remy. I'm very good at reading people. <laughs> Tyrell, boys. We're getting Tyrell. Get him, boys. Up on me now. It's just trying to get one bloody hit. I got no money. Can't even win walkie if I wanted to. Got him. I'm coming back, but I don't know what I'm coming back for because I'm going to get absolutely rinsed by the other two characters. Get over here. <laughs> So I got the stun on my next attack, so that's a good start. I don't want to, like, interfere with it, but it would be interesting to see if you could have, like, a test dummy, and then you could just drop the obsidian ring and attack without it, and then put it on and attack with it, and then see if it really is bugged, doing way more damage than it should be. Because is it the effect from Orb of Lightning that's causing obsidian ring to do what it's doing? Or is it because you got Unholy Frenzy? Because it says attacking an enemy that has a debuff. And Unholy Frenzy is on you, not on the enemy. So I don't know. It's the slow from the Frost Aura. You think it's... Oh, he's got an aura? He hasn't got a Frost Aura. It's this all the lightning thing. Good luck, everyone. Oh, attack. God, so much damage taken. I'm doing the best I can, boys. I need ten seconds, lol. Oh, 
Oh no! Nah. I'd still have to get two attacks. When this is up, it doesn't mean my next attack stuns. It means it procs my next attack afterwards. So I'd still need more time. I got somewhat close, but it's still not quite. Yeah, not quite close enough. Man, I thought I had an absolute killer of a ca character, but... Super fast attackers with bugged obsidian rings are really nasty to deal with. GG. Banley exploiters. Ban overclocked.